Okay, we have come to the gorilla cage. And I've got a gorilla story for you. All right? So I'm going to tell you this gorilla story. I'm going to tell you this gorilla story. All right? I'm You can see I've got a captive audience. Here's how the story goes. Now don't turn your back on me. I know you're interested. Yes, you are. You're interested in the gorilla story. Well, here's how it goes. One day, the gorilla died in the zoo. And the zoo didn't know what to do because there were no gorillas around. So they hired a man to put on a gorilla suit. And he went in the cage and pretended to be a gorilla. And that worked real fine. And then one day, one day, in the gorilla cage, out came a lion. And the lion roared. And the gorilla was scared. And he started to yell and say, help, help. I'm really not a gorilla, I'm just pretending to be one. And the lion said, shut up, buddy, or we'll both lose our job at the zoo. That's the gorilla story. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I have an audience here, so I kind of felt my audience. I didn't see you, but I kind of felt you were there. Yeah, I love to tell that story. That's a good story. It is. It's a cool story. It's a cool story. Well, you take it. You tell it to someone now. That's abuse. Yeah, you know how we that's feel. Tell it to the yeah. dad. Yeah. I know, hmm? that's the little kid. Oh. Yeah, it's a good story. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of good stories, but nobody likes to listen to them. I'm going back for more. Can you talk? Oh, that was a story. Oh, oh dad, get back to beat him. Oh, that was high He's climbing the gate! Well, they're just gorillaing around, that's all. Going up there sleeping. Oh, I tried giving you a drink for like two minutes and you just sat there looking at me like I was sleeping. It gets pretty hot in there. They look like they're all having fun. Yeah, it gets pretty hot. Can you stand so on the way you're at right here? Yeah, I, I make it what's called a zoo-a-mentary. Oh. Have you heard of a documentary? Yeah. This is a zoo-a-mentary. Huh, so you tell stories? We I tell stories there, wherever I go, whatever we I feel like. Like when I went to the penguin place, what? I grew up and was raised in a Roman Catholic house and was taught by the nuns. And when I was little, they wore black what they call habits, like their whole body was dressed in black and they wore, wore something over their head. The only you could see basically was their cheeks and their mouth, their nose and their eyes. But we called them penguins because they wore black. Yeah. Over there, that is the song of the foxes. That's where what? We were over there and it looks like he's yeah. showing us on his butt cheeks. All we can see over there from him is his butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah. They have big butt cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's all about butts. See? Yeah. Because they're a little more intelligent than you realize. Yeah. One time I was taking pictures of them and one actually posted me. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. He was doing this. I believe you. Okay. Now there's a reason for that, but I'm not going to tell you the reason. You were a great audience. I loved having you on my video, but I'm not showing you. So don't worry. All right. Hey, Buster. Hey, Buster. I'm done with my story. The lion might come in your cage. And he might say, shut up, buddy, or we'll all lose our jobs. <laughs>